Quickly before jumping into today's video, I just wanted to mention that LoneFox.com is currently being built out and guys, I am so excited for you to see the website once it is done, but there is a little spot on the site currently where you can enter your email address to have first access to the site. So definitely click the link at the top of the description box below and enter your email address and you are good to go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today is another segment of the Bretman Rock apartment makeover series that I have here on my channel. So in today's video, you're gonna see me redo the entire bedroom and bathroom, and you're also going to see Bretman's reveal to him once he gets back from Fashion Week. And if you guys have not already seen episodes one and episodes two, I will link those in the description box for you guys below and put a card up here for you. But this is going to be the final episode where I redo his bedroom. As you can see, it's a complete mess right now. There's just a lot of stuff in here. And I'm gonna redo the bathroom and you're also gonna be able to see his grand and final reveal of the space. I am so excited to show it to him. It is currently Saturday about midday and I have to show this to him Sunday morning when he gets back from Fashion Week. So honestly guys, I just wanna jump right into conquering this bedroom space because it's gonna be a lot of work and I just found out there's no task rabbits available to help me build IKEA furniture, so I'm doing it all myself, which is not the tea. So far, as you could see, I moved the bed to the center of the room. I just felt like it looked so much better in the center of the room as opposed to it pushed to the wall as it was prior. I'm putting nightstands on either side, which are from CB2, they're right here. So one's gonna go on the left, one's gonna go on the right. Got some really cute little lamps from Target here, which are going to be going on the left and right nightstands as well. And an electrician is coming in just about an hour or so to put in this light that I got, which is a round kind of chandelier from World Market. These are the marble tops. I got this bench from Article. And that's honestly, guys, kind of what we're working with at the moment. I need wall art. I need a couple of um, finishing touches probably from Target. I think this room is kind of like a dream room for me. Um, I really like the color palette in here and I think you guys are going to love it as well. So Marie just came through. She found a tasker to do this for me. So I am literally going to hire him right now. I also want to mention to you guys that I'm keeping all of the walls in this room white. Um, I'm not doing really anything other than some forms of wall art just because I know that Bretman likes white walls in his own house. He has a ton of white walls. So I wanted to at least have one room that wasn't as bold and powerful as the living room, which you guys have already kind of seen with the wallpaper. So we found the dresser section. He doesn't like wood. I'm thinking, I was leaning kind of more towards this, but they also have all of these ones over here, um, which something like this could work nice as well. But I would definitely change these handles out because this looks very like traditional. All right guys, so I found the dresser that I wanted. I'll pop up a photo of the one that I'm gonna get here because um, I'm gonna do a DIY kind of to it as well. And I also got the speaker because it was kind of cool. They did a collaboration with Sonos, I think. That's what it is. Actually just had the IKEA dresser fully assembled by a really good task rabbit. If you guys don't know what task rabbit is, by the way, this is not sponsored, but you can actually go on the app and you could find people to like build things for you or people like electricians, because I had this light put in yesterday in the bedroom, which looks amazing. So I had them do this last night. I was here. I just didn't really film um the process of putting this light in because it was pretty dark outside by the time they did it. So I was just like, whatever, I'll show you guys in the morning. If you are curious, we went with the Hem Nez one, and this is what it looks like. I actually had him keep the knobs off because I'm about to put some new ones on. It's currently about 3.30 in the afternoon and I still have almost the entire bedroom to finish by about 7 p.m. when the sun goes down because Bretman is going to come back tomorrow morning and we're gonna do the reveal for the entire apartment, which I am so excited about.
Um, this legit looks like it would cost $800 at West Elm. Am I not wrong? This looks so good and the dresser was $150 and each set of two poles was $10. So I think I spent around $200 because I got five sets of, or I got six sets actually of poles. So it was about $210 for this dresser, but it looks like a full on $800 Ikea dresser or something that you would find on like Serena and Lily or one of those like really pretty home decor stores. I'm in love with outcome. Marie, you're gonna be shown in a second. Oh, I don't wanna be. Well, you're gonna be. I don't freaking wanna be. Like that, and then I'm gonna pull the dresser. Actually, I am gonna move the dresser over just a bit more. Um, Cause I feel like the, it looked like it was crunched against the mirror. There, oh, I like this gap really right here. It <laughs> really does. Scouted some help for this rug because it's impossible. Hi everyone. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. One, Ready? two, three. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. This is good. There, perfect. I wouldn't like here. Perfect. Okay, we did it. We got it good. It's looking nice. There we go. Thank you guys. <laughs> DIY time. Um, this is a super, super simple and easy project, guys. I'm literally using black paint, a paintbrush, and some poster board to spell out the word whatever, which is one of Bretman's like famous sayings that everyone loves from him, of course. So I just kind of spelled it out a couple of different times. I just got two poster boards from the dollar store and spelled it out on the top of it. And I'm using an Ikea frame that I picked up while I was shopping for the dresser. It's honestly just a super simple, easy way to make a large scale piece of art. Life hack when you have no tape, rip up your sticker that was used to scan it at the store. Okay, so let's see how this looks in here. Okay, so there's a little dilemma with the whatever picture. Well, there's not really, but there's this huge box right here, which I don't even know what that's for. It's like the breaker box. The breaker box. And so this typically would want to, I would want it to go here, but I kind of want to put it here, even though that'd be off center. I don't know, to cover that. I think it would look better covering it. So I think I'm going to put it covering it and then if I don't like it, I'll just change it. The bedroom is complete. I am now in the bathroom. There honestly isn't too much I'm doing to this bathroom because it's really, really generic. I didn't want to paint the walls. It's really dark. There's no windows. If there was a window in here, I definitely do think I could have done a bit more. I'm just gonna keep it pretty minimal, pretty clean and fresh, very bathroomy, you know? So started. So like I mentioned, there honestly wasn't too much I wanted to do to the bathroom just because I didn't want to overwhelm the bathroom as well. So basically I just added a couple of bathroomy elements, um, just like your bath mat, your towels, a little tray on the back of the toilet, like all the essential sink items, just all those basic elements um, that I think just added a pretty touch to the bathroom. Hey guys, so I just finished the bedroom and the bathroom and the entire apartment is complete. Now some news has kind of changed a little bit with Bretman's reveal. So I just called him and talked to him and he's actually taking a flight home a lot earlier. He's gonna land at 4 a.m. tonight. So instead of me having to be here at 4 a.m. when he lands, his assistant is actually going to film his entire reaction for you guys. I was actually gonna be here in the morning time when he landed, but he actually has a job tomorrow now. So we had to fly back a lot earlier and things just happened to change, which is very normal. So his assistant's going to film 
the reaction and I'm so excited because I don't know what it's gonna look like. Like I'm honestly kind of scared to get the footage from him. So I guess it's time to roll the reaction in the final clips of the apartment. Hey guys, it's Brevin Brock. I'm pretty sure Drew has already told you guys that I wasn't able to make it on time where there was light here. It's literally 2 a.m. here in LA and I just landed from New York Fashion Week because she's a model. Um, yeah, it's literally 2.21. Yeah, oh my god, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Don't look. Oh my god, they have drinks. This fucking living room is sick. Oh my god, you are fucking sickening, bitch. This is fucking sick. Oh my god, people, what do you think? I love it. I'm scared to check the room. Wait, I'm kind of jealous. I'm fucking... I don't know what to say. OMG. This is insane. He got me crystals. Oh, that, oh my god. That was a crystal. This is so... Drew, what the fuck? What the fuck, Drew? This shit is fucking sick. It's crazy because I kind of just like trusted him with everything that I almost... Not almost, bitch. I literally did not give him any, like, mood board. I just told him, bitch, you're a Leo. You should know what fucking Leos want. And, bitch, he fucking, for lack of a better word, he definitely fucking killed it, bitch. The baddest. The motherfucking baddest. Ah. Thank you so much, Drew. I fucking live for you. I love you. Okay, get out. Bitch, this is my apartment. <laughs> you get out. Get the fuck out, Keeper. All right, guys. Um, Bretman, do you like your apartment? Bitch, are you fucking kidding me? I love my apartment. Like, it's. I feel like it's an extension of my house. Yeah, we were back talking. home, and it feels so homey here that I. You guys, I hate traveling, but I feel like with this, I don't mind like being in the like for a little bit. I still hate traveling. <laughs> but you guys saw the reveal, and this apartment was so fun to decorate. This is the first full apartment I've ever done. Um, and I'm really happy that Bretman and you killed it. Bitch. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, and I liked that you like. I knew you liked like color and stuff, so it was like something fun and different. Did you tell them that I didn't even tell you like anything? Yeah, I did. I was like freaking out on my channel. I was like, Bretman gave me no. If you watch my first video, the one that's already up, literally, I was like, the only thing he told me is that he didn't like wood. I was like, oh, do you like these? You're like, I don't like wood. Yeah, like natural wood colors. So that's why I did like black and stuff. Yeah, and like white and marble. There's still some wood, but you made it work. I did like a tiny bit of wood because like I feel like you kind of have to have that somewhere. Also, it's too cold. Wood too. Yeah, you can't hate wood too much. But I think that the apartment turned out so good. This was such a fun like little series that I did. Thank I you can't believe you thought. I still cannot believe you did all of this. Yeah, it was so fun. It looks so good. Like I'm actually. I mean, so I didn't natural. think I was gonna hate it to be honest with you. You didn't like. Think I knew you were gonna kill it. Oh, thanks. We're both Leos, and we just like. Energy, like, yeah. Like even like some things, like where I was like, oh, that looks like it'd be like chia bread, and you thought of like, yeah, I wanted to put there. chia bread there, and then also the crystals, the, the crystal crystals. rocks, yeah. and then oh, do you want to something else that I did? What? Did you see the Nike? 
picture right there. Like the one above the bar cart, like over there, the yellow one. It was because he did that Nike campaign. I didn't it, see it. It's like a, um, this one. This little like shoe photo, like because I wanted to do like some color, but I picked out this Nike Nike shoe photo because oh he did that Nike God. campaign. <laughs> but I think that's all. I will catch you all in the next video. And Mwah. um, bye. Aloha. <laughs>